Hi everyone, Comic Reviewer here, this time reviewing on Mad Max Fury Road. Now, as you know, Mad Max Fury Road is a 2015 post-apocalypse action film that was meant to be the fourth installment in the Mad Max series. Now, pretty much after covering 1 to 3, I would say, yeah, Fury Road is basically the Road Warrior done slightly better. And I know originally the film was was going to be be one of George Miller's next ideas back in 1987, but because of de of development hell and because of of certain screw ups and problems, you can kind of tell eventually George Miller was eventually able to do Fury Road. And I know, yeah, because of the controversies surrounding Mel Gibson in later years, I know because of other events back in the 2000s that he couldn't really do it until, until in 2015. And so the premise of the film is meant to follow Max, who is haunted by the memories of all the people he's failed to protect. And of course, we see how he's captured and taken by Immortal Joe's men and taken to his citadel. Now, the point of Immortal Joe, I would say, is basically Lord Humongous Doug Roy, because he's created this new sort of citadel. He's created these people who kind of see him as this golden idol, and we kind of see how he uses things to kind of perfect what he wants. And we kind of see how, yeah, we see how Immortal Joe realises that his wives have been taken by Furiosa, who was played by Shari Fenton. And we kind of see how eventually Max is able to help Furiosa and Immortal Joe's life, wives. And we do kind of see how Nux, who eventually joins with Max and the others to help rescue in Morton Joe's wives from his grip. I think the film has a good idea, like showing how Max is drawn into the line of helping those once again, but I think this is where I think the film comes off a bit too much focusing on Furiosa, where it should have focused on Max. Again, I think had the film been basically about Furiosa, who has told stories of Max, and basically of wanting to be someone like Max, this would have shown her trying to help those in need and become the next generation hero. I think what Pokemon got right was that after the whole Journeys arc, it made sense that Ash was going to go on other adventures that we weren't going to see. And I think the point of focusing on a new character made complete sense. I think, yeah, when you also have in Morton Joe's son, who's meant to be Rassus, played by Nathan Jones, I think his character works, like he's a bit more muscular, dumber, but also kind of meant to be his more, more bigger gun. And I think the point of In Morton Joe is meant to be a reflection of what can happen when you want perfection, as well as seeing things as a way to control others. And I think the saddest part is when you do have Nux, he does actually want to believe that he can be descended into Valhalla, only to kind of realise what he truly had. I think, yeah, I think a lot of characters feel like counterparts to the Road Warrior, like Nux being the gyro captain, in Morton Joe being kind of like Lord Humongous, and the war and Fu Furiosa being kind of the warrior woman, only with slightly better roles. I know as well in the Mad Max, Max Fury Road comic, it also does cover how how Immortan Joe built his empire, and even in the comics, you do see former members of Mad Max's team back in the first film now shells of their former selves. I think it's like I said. Had the film been more about Furiosa and been a more sort of spin-off film taking place after, sometime after B 
beyond Thunderdome, I think you still could have had Mel Gibson as Max showing up near the end to give her the, the sort of locations on where to meet the others. I think what Life is Strange got right at, I mean with the second one, is showing David now older and just sort of accepting what happened back in the past and helping the main characters out in Life is Strange 2. I think to me is that, yeah, Fury Road just puts Max under the rug badly, and the film should have really been about Shari Fenton's character, Furiosa, and it did seem pretty made for it. I know there's going to be a prequel film, so yeah, it just feels like they really put Max under the rug badly, and I think it doesn't help the fact that Tom hardly couldn't do an Australian accent, and he really did wanted to try and do Max some justice. So I think to me, Fury Road is an okay-ish film, but really this should have been more about Charlie Fenton's character than um, more. So in my opinion, it deserves a uh, thumbs in the middle. Well, it's alright as a film, we know it's not going to go the distance that I think George Miller hoped. So, in my thoughts, yeah, the Man Max films have good ideas, but I think there are wasted potentials there and there. I think the third film ended on a better note. So I think the Mad Max films definitely deserve two thumbs in the middles. While they're films with good intentions, it just feels like a bit of an, a hollow shell, something I think Fist of the North Star got right. So, Comic Reviewer here, signing out.